Welcome back, guys. So, today, um, we're going to learn how to build the most important part of a flood and drain aquaponic system, the bell siphon. The bell siphon allows the flooding and then subsequent draining of the growing media without any need to turn on and off pumps. The pump continually runs water into the grow, growing media and once it reach, reaches a set level, the bell siphon kicks in and an automatic siphon is initiated which then draws all of the water out of the grow bed. Um, there are three main parts to a bell siphon. Uh, you've got the shroud which keeps the grow media from entering into the siphon and then flooding down into the fish tank or the sump tank. Um, you've got the bell where all the action happens. Um, this is where the siphon vacuum is created. The water runs into the bell um, as the grow bed fills and then the water then cascades down into this pipe and creates suction which then continues to pull water until the water level reaches these two grooves in the bottom of the bell. Once the siphon is broken, the air rushes back in and the grow bed is allowed to fill again until it reaches the level at which the siphon is initiated, which is determined by this standpipe. All right, I'll show you what you need to make it. So what you'll need today is a drill, a reciprocating saw or a hacksaw, a jigsaw, um, two 100 millimeter end caps, a 80 millimeter end cap, um, a 25 millimeter PVC pipe for the standpipe, uh, 80 millimeter uh, PVC pipe for the shroud and a hundred millimeter PVC pipe, which I've already pre-cut um, for the external shroud. Um, you'll also need for the top of the stand pipe, it's a, um, a widener or I don't know what they're called um, and a bulkhead fitting with, I think it's a 25 millimeter screw screw and PVC fitting for the bottom of the stand pipe. All right, uh, let's get into it. So to begin with, we're going to uh, put some slits in the shroud. So it's a bit windy here today. Um, so that all of the water can uh, pass through the shroud whilst also keeping the clay pebbles and uh, plants out, hopefully. So you want as many holes as close to the bottom as possible because that's where the last of the water will drain into. And be careful when you're doing it. I've taken a bit off. Now it's just a matter of uh, drilling two holes and cutting slits between them with the jigsaw.
So this is what it should look like. Um, that, I, think that, I think that's enough space for the water to get through. Um, but you can always add more slits if you find that the water is not escaping fast enough, which I plan on doing if that's the case. But for now, that's the shroud. Now for this next part, we'll be uh, drilling a hole into the IBC um, with a hole saw, which I didn't mention that you needed, but now I'm mentioning later in the video <laughs> um, to put through the bulkhead fitting. Now you want to match the uh, outside diameter of the uh, hole saw with the bulkhead fitting, like so. Uh, when drilling these holes, um, it's best to start the initial pilot hole in forward and then reverse the drill so that the uh, teeth on the hole saw bit uh, don't rip into the uh, plastic too hard um, and causing, cause a tear because that's the last thing you want to happen right now. Also make sure that where you're putting the hole is the lowest point in the uh, container. Um, it might not be possible with a lot of containers because they have dips on both sides, but uh, you may just have to make do um, with what you've got. So let's go. Let's get to it. You're also going to want to put a hole in the bottom of your shroud, uh, the same size as the hole you've done, you've done in your uh, IBC. And now we can seal the bottom. Now for what's probably the most important part of the assembly, um, the standpipe. So each standpipe will be a different length. It depends on how high you want the water to rise because this is what determines the water's level. So um, I've cut mine just as an example, but um, I'll be adjusting this once I get all of the uh, grow bed media in here and um, I'll be lengthening it or shortening it because I've got more pipe there, um, depending on uh, how high the pebbles come up and I'll be um, leaving about two and a half to three centimeters of uh, dry media um, above the water level. Um, so once you've cut your standpipe to length, put it in there and then add the top, which just gives it more surface area for the water to come over the top of. And then you want to cut your bell to length. So um, this is the uh, 80 millimeter pipe, um, which will fit directly over and the water will come up and run into there. So on the bottom of this, you want to cut grooves, which I'll do now. Um, and that'll allow the water to come in the side at the bottom, rise up through uh, the bell and then cascade into the middle and once you've got the cap on which will seal it that will cause a siphon effect to drain the bed once all the water's pumped in to the grow media
Now, that's the full assembly of the bell siphon. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Huchos. Uh, next time, we will be plumbing in a solids lifter, a solids filter, and a sump tank. Join me next time on Huchos.